Hey friends, thank you for joining me on today's video. You've probably had some crazy weather in your neck of the woods with this Storm Elliot. Here's the story of my two days. having some really really cold weather for us here in Washington so I am filling up a couple buckets of hot water to take out to put on the, the horses troughs to melt through and to make their morning buckets unfortunately I don't have electricity at my horse barn the lights are all solar, but I don't have any way of heating up their troughs. So, usually right before bed, I'll go out and stir it up really good, add some hot water, and it might freeze over a little bit, but last night got to about 20 degrees, and that's pretty cold for us here in southern Washington. So, there'll be a couple buckets going out with me today for chores. Lots of layers this morning. Don't I look cute? She's definitely nippy on the nose, but with all my layers, I'm warm everywhere else. Good morning, boys. your water. They still like to go out to the apple tree and pick up the ones that have fallen. How solid are you? Follow Crunk. Straight to the apple tree, I'm sure. Fortunately, with this freezing weather, we haven't had any rain, so the roads should be okay today. But tonight, it's supposed to start some snow and sleet and then tomorrow will be kind of a mixture of rain that will freeze. See so tomorrow's gonna be the yucky day on the roads. A lot of times when it's freezing if it's wet oh, this is what I wear. the class get frozen so the nights that it's frozen and the horses aren't in the pasture anyway I just use a rope around there. All right, let's start you with some hay and a 
little light. There we go. Head on in there. Good girl. Yeah, it can see where she broke through at least once during the night. And I'll pour some hot water on it. Actually, I think I'll get Dottie started on hay first and then just kind of give him a tidbit while I clean up and then give him more hay. Morning, Miss Dottie. Go on in your stall. Kind of hard to do one hand. There we go. Okay, touch. Move along. Good girl. Good girl. Keep going. Good girl. Step up. If you haven't seen other videos of mine, Dottie is blind, but she gets along really well. Okay, girl, here's your hay. Watch out. Beep, beep. Now I'll get your bucket. Okay, now to break open the water. Daddy's good about breaking open a place.
Even though I hate that Dottie hates in her stall, it's a lot easier to clean up on frozen days. Mucking alpaca poo is very interesting because you can't really use the mucking fork like you do with the horses. So I'm going to do a barn hack video soon to talk about this little scooper thing here. Got all sorts of little hacks that I do to, because I'm, I was going to say I'm cheap. I'm frugal. My kids tell me I'm cheap, but I'm frugal. So I try to figure out how to do something efficiently and cheap. So, alrighty. Let's see about the pile down here. The good thing about alpacas is they poo in the same place unless it gets too dirty but they're very even my horses are too can, even in the pasture I kind of know which section of the pasture they'll poo in when they're out well hey friends it's day two of this crazy storm and Got a lot of ice. It was weird last night going out to check on the animals and bring 
hot water out to the troughs, which I'm going to be doing here in a minute. Everything is covered with ice. We didn't really get snow. I don't understand why it was an ice storm versus a snowstorm. Weird. Anyway, morning tours are starting. Delicately walk up to the horse barn. I hope I don't slip on all this ice. If this were to continue, I definitely have to get some of those spike things you put on the bottom of your boots. in there. Hello girls, this is crazy. Yeah, this ice, this rock, it's, it's just so slippery. So, yep, using one hand to hold on to something until I get in here. Yeah. 
today are supposed to stay around 20 to 23 maybe and then crazy tomorrow will be high 40s so at least we know this will all melt up tomorrow Again, I wish I could say you were following my ride today on a ride, but that won't be happening. It's actually supposed to be working today, but I didn't want to drive in this, so I switched my clients until tomorrow. I do home care aid. So, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, but I didn't have plans other than I was going to go to Christmas, Christmas Eve service, but... I'll get to church Christmas morning and feel much safer driving tomorrow when it's 40 degrees versus today in this mess. Hopefully no, there's a big pile up on the highway north of us last night, but I know there's people across the country that are dealing with a lot worse weather than we have. Hope everybody can stay home, stay warm, stay safe. And any of my California buddies watching this are probably laughing at me saying, why did you leave Southern California? Oh, well, <laughs> in the summertime, it's a beautiful place. So normally the horses get a bucket in the evening, but when the weather's like this and I wanna make sure they're hydrated, make up two so I'm gonna make up one now that they'll get about one o'clock today and I'll give them some more hay and then after that make up a second one that they will get this evening uh, again probably four or five o'clock it gets dark right now it's about 4 30 yay two days ago was the long or shortest day of the the year, December 21st, so today's the 23rd, so now we can look towards about 30 seconds to a minute longer each day through summer, so yay. shown in a previous video they get some healthy edge by Purina and the beet pulp pellet again this is a smaller than normal because we're just going to have half of it for their kind of lunch supplements tonight. Some alfalfa pellets. That one needs to be refilled. The extra evening one, Dottie would get some new print and they both get this joint combo by um, Horse Health Products.
little bit of canola oil for some extra fats. That's just to anoint her. And a scoop of salt to keep them thirsty and keep their electrolytes. A little bit of hot water. Here's the water I left out yesterday. It's frozen solid. So this won't be doing any good. be enough for it to soak up and then when I come out I'll come out with more hot water to add to it for it this afternoon. Oh golly. Your toesy's cold. You're like, no. We're from Peruvian mountains. We're not cold. Tula, Tula, you need to go outside. Let's go. Gotta be careful you don't slip. Go slow. Oh, poor girl. Like, what is going on here? Go around the bush to pee. She wants privacy. Okay, you can come back this way by the house and it won't be slippery. Good girl. She's such a good girl. Well, if you go a little slow, closer to the house, it won't be. She's getting so old. Good girl. Well, it's one in the afternoon. I'm heading to the barn again. Still a layer of ice on everything. It almost seems worse than overnight. Super slick. I feel like I just break the grass off as I walk on it because it's so frozen. Not that there's a lot of grass here in the pasture right now. Let's see, I think it's 
less of a slope here. Just slowly. There we go. And right there is just frozen, like a frozen puddle. Be ready for a warm bucket. Uh, always ready for a bucket. Probably too sloshy, but she'll love it. Okay. Let's open that. Oh no. Watch out. Back, back, back. Lop that stuff around. Getting for Dottie. So many birds today. Usually they're not in here, but I think they like the cover. And probably finding little seeds from the hay since everything else is covered up. Hey, Dottie, Dottie, Dottie. Need some warm soup. Over here, girl. There it is. Nothing like the sound of some slurpy soup for horses. Another flake for you. And another flake for you. Flake or two. More Swiss swashing. This is a full time job. Hey, friends. I just came in from my last check of the animals after this crazy season of cold weather yesterday and today. Looking forward to tomorrow being a normal Pacific Northwest winter day. It's weird because it's actually um, warming up as it gets later into the night, which is strange. So it was nice to go out there. It's about nine o'clock right now. Um, the last check where we had to bring some hot water out was about six. And then in the three hours between six and nine o'clock, it didn't freeze. So it should be good overnight as the temperatures continue to rise a little bit. And then tomorrow into the 40s. So that will be great. Back to normal. And um, anyway, it was just a unusual situation, but it could happen again. We've had other periods of lots more snow and everything. But as weird as I was walking out tonight, I felt like I was walking on wet marbles because it was crackling and, and um, just the weirdest sensation walking on that the icy grass and definitely the gravel. That's when it was really bad. But just thank you for 
watching my video, I'd like to encourage you to, to like it and um, share it if you'd like. But definitely subscribe because this is kind of the season as I'm building my channel, getting used to editing and filming and different things. But summer is when it's going to be fun because I plan to do a lot of riding and camping and being able to share about different trails and um, camp horse camping around both Oregon and Washington. So hopefully you'll be there to join me with that. But if you are an equestrian, you might have already seen this little um, quote going around on Facebook. It's a little meme that has a cute picture. I'll post it here. A uh, cute picture of a little girl in the wind walking a horse. And there's a, a sweet little quote. I kind of get the feeling it might have been translated from another language because the grammar isn't the best. So I'm going to change it a, a little bit. But it says, for all the girls who show up to work at 9 o'clock after already doing work at the barn since 5 a.m. For the girls that took an unknown degree without any certificate for it. For the girls who only associated with a drug if it was called benbendazole or butte. The girls that cried into the neck of her animal when she was upset. The ones who will feed, muck, and repair a fence for the love of her best friend. This is for the girls who think baling twine and duct tape are tools. This is for the girl who dreamed of a pony for Christmas. This is for the dreams we hold and the memories we all share. We know how to love unconditionally because an animal taught us. This is a lifestyle. great day whenever you're watching this it might be in the evening but have a great weekend have a wonderful christmas and um hopefully wherever you are you're able to ride and have happy trails see you next time